Oh my god, as soon as I turn this thing on, the dogs start growling. And I keep getting all these messages. I can't believe this. It's like, leave me the F alone, people. Anyway, it's just me, Ghetto Mama. Who does that? Amberlynn Reed. I don't know why she does it. Anyway, tonight, it's cold, very cold here. So I have some of that leftover unrolled cabbage roll soup. And I made myself a salad. And of course, I have milk. Oh, I'm so hungry. I only ate a Slim Jim today. That's all I've had. Cheers. I don't know what was wrong with me. I just wasn't interested in food today. And this will be good if it ain't hot as hell. Not bad. Why do tomato products taste better when they've been like in the fridge for a few days? That's what I want to know. And here's a salad. I gotta figure out how to prop you guys up. Maybe this will do. Then you can't see my food, you just see me eat. It needs to be up a little ha taller. You guys got me hooked on this sriracha stuff. Yeah, my son's messaging me in the middle of this and saying, can I borrow $50 till tomorrow? I'm like, I don't have $50 on me. So, we shall see. This is really good. This is so simple, this little salad, though. This is romaine hearts. Little yellow tomatoes that I found in the store. I have some little bit of ranch on it, a little bit of um, French dressing on it, Parmesan cheese, and a few bacon bit sprinkles. Really good. Very simple. I was going to make hot dogs and beans tonight for supper, but beans are loaded with carbs. And here I go. I'm not supposed to have carbs, so no beans for me. So it looks like we have some muck bombers fighting again. Team Dave and Monica fighting with them. Um, oh my god, what's her name? Her last name's Manson. Misty Manson, maybe that's her name? I'm not sure. They're having a sing-off and calling each other haters. I don't forgot, I don't know what... the purpose of all this is. I really don't. I wonder if it's real or if it's something choreographed between those guys to get them more views to see who's who's fighting, you know. That's what I'm wondering. 
That's really obnoxious, though, for them to be doing that. Mm. Hot, hot, hot. Mm. Well, I know better don't dig deep in this bowl of soup. And naturally, Tippy's begging. They're both begging. I think tomorrow or Sunday. <clears throat> I'm going to go Christmas shopping. I just want to get it over with. <clears throat> I got all the baby stuff bought. I got to wrap it. I keep saying I got to wrap it. Um, I'm going to do it this afternoon, but I did so much stuff I got my back off. Sorry, my back is really sore tonight. Really bad sore. Yesterday, I about flipped out. You want to know why? I was getting ready to go to bed. I noticed my purse was gone. I saw my bank card, my bank card in it, my credit card, and my ID. So I had that bit of drama before I went to bed. I was like so freaked out. Oh my God. I tore my bed apart. Threw my blanket and my pillows on the floor. Because I thought, well, maybe it was in my bed. Because usually it's like in my bedroom. So I thought, well, maybe I was looking at it and put it in bed. But So then I went outside to my truck. And it wasn't in the truck. Looked all over the ground. Oh my God, maybe I dropped it on the way to the house or something. Now, mind you, it was like 28 degrees and I'm walking around barefoot outside looking for my little wallet thing. And then I went through the garage because I always take my dogs through the garage to the side to go to the bathroom. I'm not out there. Not in my fat old lady chair. Not there. Nowhere. So then I start shaking and freaking out and everything. And I asked my daughter, will you help me find my purse? And she just laid there. I'm like, damn, when... She loses her stuff. I help her. By the way, she just laid there, so then I called baby's mama, and baby's mama helped me to find it. And that's when I, like, moved my mattress off my bed. That's when my back, I think, got sore. Anyway, 20 minutes of pa panic. Long story short... was sticking to my pillow for whatever reason. Why what is it sticking to my pillow? I guess the little zipper thing on it was sticking to the pillow. So then when I threw it on the floor, it took a ride with the pillow. When I put it back on the bed, it took a ride with the pillow. But we found it. Everything's good, so I'm very happy. Because I thought, oh my god. If I lost it, how can I get my ID back? How can I get my credit cards all fixed around, you know, and my bank card? And then I'll be totally out of money. Because the bank will have to send me a new card. And it'll just be a big old mess. But 
I'm so thankful that it was found. Baby's mama found it. I don't know how she found it because I swear I did everything she did and I didn't find it. I got 20-20 vision. She says she's got 20-20 vision. I think last night I had panic mode vision. I wasn't seeing it even if I seen it. Do you ever get like that? I do. When I'm upset or something, I only see what I want to see because I'm scared and that's about it. Crazy stuff. Salad to me tastes like summertime. I don't know, when you eat food, does it take you somewhere? Like if you eat something like, I don't know, like for me, the salad, I've said I'm thinking about summertime. These little yellow tomatoes are good. So if you ever see any of these little yellow tomatoes in the store, these little yellow tomatoes are really good. I sure wish I could have crackers with this so or a piece of bread. Well, it's Friday, so we got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And Tuesday's the fifth day for my weigh-in, so I wonder what I'll be on Tuesday. And I already cheated this week, so... Meaning... Cheated, I had my cheat day already, so I'm going to be screwed on Sunday when... It's my real cheat day. I don't know. I might cheat anyway. But then, if I do, this is going to be a big problem. I think I heard my son pull up. Is he out there? No. Oh, good. So my first batch, <clears throat> batch of soup this week, I made a pot of this stuff. It's on road cabbage roll soup. And then I made the um, pork vegetable soup, which we still have in the fridge. But this is like a few days old, so I figured I'd need to eat it. Mm. <laughs> my nose is running. That's nasty. TMI. Ooh, look at all those carrots. <clears throat> well, this morning when I went out to take my dogs out, because or take my dogs out barefoot and in my nightgown every morning. I'm in my own yard. I'm standing on my little stoop by my door, you know, the door that from the garage that goes outside. And the veterans over there were said, Oh, look at her skin. Mm. 
because I have a rehab center beside me. With a bunch of old guys that live there. I'm sure you heard me talk about them before, but anyway, they were remarking how I was out there in my like nightgown, which I'll tell you what my nightgown is. It's a it's a skirt that I put I pull it up like around here. It's a skirt. And it kind of goes a little bit below my knees. It's it's like a maxi skirt, but I wear it for a nightgown. Now they're talking and laughing and having a good time. Then they see me and the dogs and all of a sudden that's diverted over to me and say, like, ugh. To be honest with you, too bad there ain't any cute ones over there. You know, thirsty, thirsty. If there's a cute guy over there, I don't know. Just joking, guys. Because I am enough. I don't need that drama of a boyfriend. Boyfriends and relationships are drama filled. My dogs cause enough drama, don't you, Tippy? I could just see if I had a boyfriend. <laughs> I tell you, it wouldn't last long. Because I'm kind of dominant in my relationships. Because I've learned to rely on myself. So I don't rely on guys or nothing. And and they don't like that. I guess they don't feel needed, so they go to some hoe that acts all like damsel in stress. I don't know. Anyway. Not much of a thrilling mukbang tonight, but at least you came and had supper with me. I hope you are warm and safe and had a little something something to eat today and uh, prayers to all you watching and I will see you next video